Doak Campbell Stadium, located in Florida's capital city of Tallahassee. The fans are ready for a college football battle. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Florida State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. The misdirection wasn't fooling the defense at all. That shows some really solid preparation and discipline to stay with their assignments. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Brownlee picks up seven yards with that catch. Hunt to punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Florida State's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Tries to get around the corner. He's at the 30. And he's finally shoved out at the 21-yard line. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Inside the 10, and down he goes at the 1. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 61-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. Yeah, that could be demoralizing for a defense. The score now, 7-0. Harrell fields at the goal line. He's taken down at the 24. The Seminoles really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 27. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. 
He scrambles. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Douglas takes it at the 32, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Florida State is up by a touchdown. Off play action. Now he's on the move. He'll take it himself. Tackle at about the 41. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Looks middle, got his back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Benson, the ball carrier. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. First and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. the ground inside they'll get him for a loss third down now and they need to get it to the 18 Florida State is up a score Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down around the 20-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Florida State is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Jones fields it at the two. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The Seminoles are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Gets out to around the 35. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. 10-0, Seminoles. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two.
Throws it, and it's tipped away. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. And they play tight coverage as well. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. Hunt is the punter. And down he goes at the 41. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Nice run there. Benson gains about five yards on the run. Second and five. Ball on their own 46. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. He picks up a yard at best on the toss. Got him on the screenplay. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. Brooks. The return man. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. From their own 15-yard line, second down. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. And he hits him hard at the 29. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Benson's success running the football, Kirk, has put his team in a great spot right now. They're really controlling the game. Yeah, we expected him to have this kind of game, and he's not really disappointed us in any way. His performance right now, you think, is inspiring his entire team. If they can carry this momentum into the second half, there's really no reason they shouldn't win this game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Benson gets six yards on the carry. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He takes it right side for a good game. He's tackled at the 32. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks.
Finds his man. First down. And he is drilled at the 26-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. From the one-yard line. Second down. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, Florida State! And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 54-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. They're about four yards away here on third down. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down at the 38. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick pass. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. Southern Miss will use their final timeout. They'll line it up again on third down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He's under some heat. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. That'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. Florida State's lead is 17. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe it's a disrespect. I mean, they dis they disrespected him. I mean, they, they definitely they came out here and said, you know what, you, you probably don't belong on the field with us. And kudos to the coaching staff because it's hard sometimes. When you know that you're so much better than the opponent, it's hard to come out and build a three-score lead at the half. And, and they've done that, and they've done it in such a nice, tasteful, disrespectful way. Like, get out of here. Tastefully disrespectful. <laughs>
just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Douglas has it at the five. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He makes his way to about the 45. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. Takes the ball right. He fights forward to about the 46. it out. Tackle around the 47 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Hands it off. Got some open field. Makes it to the 31. the throw incomplete pass I mean he has his wide receiver wide open you spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go you got an open man like this just step and deliver and make the throw makes it out to about the 13 First and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 72-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The Seminoles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. He scrambles. And they get the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From their own 36 yard line. Third down. Slings it. 
And he's tackled at about the 49. Quick out to his receiver. And they push him out at the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. And a quick throw. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Inside the 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll bring him down around the five-yard line. Willis gets three yards on the play. It's second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. That's a great tackle at the nine-yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here comes the pressure. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. From the 19-yard line, it's third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pressure coming, and they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. And he tackles him hard at the 33. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Hand off, and he's met immediately. From their own 33-yard line, Second down. And he's level at the 42-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Florida State's got a 24-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. 
And they make the stop at about the 47 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47. He's on the run. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Him down in the backfield. I'd look for this offense to go back to some more straightforward between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. Brooks is back deep to return the punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. They blitzed the corner that time, and it created a hole in the coverage. But that's the risk you take when you leave a receiver to rush the passer. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Throws out to the running back, no good. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Caught enough for the first down. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 46. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws it deep. Boy, where has this been? You know, that, that's great to see this offense make a big play, but, well, you look at a little over two minutes to go in this game, and they're down big. Would have loved to have seen that earlier in the game. Play fake and looking to run. Decides to slide. A five-yard quarterback scramble. We've got a second and five. Ball on the eight-yard line. Five wide. Quick shot. The defender tips it away. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Normally, you look for the pass in those kinds of situations. But a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Less than three minutes in the game. Pitch out. Got the corner. Touchdown, Southern Miss. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Now he's scrambling. They don't get it. An eight-play, 80-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. So our score, 24-6.
tackle at the 41. That'll be enough to put this one away. Yeah, but give them credit. They played hard today. They just didn't catch the lucky breaks they needed. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll give it off here. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. And they finally push him out at the 8. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And down he goes, around the six-yard line. Just over a minute left. And he's taken down right around the four-yard line. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Fumble. Picks up the fumble. He dives, and he'll be marked down. That's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance today. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Second down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. Brought down at the 10-yard line. Southern Miss will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Hunt awaits the snap. Douglas takes it at the 49, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. The Seminoles know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line, he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance. And, and really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. So that wraps things up for us.